Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we're going to start a new campaign in Veritas at Fortitudo Mod for EU4. We had uh, several polls to figure out where to start, and uh, the eventual winner was Yap. Yap! Yap, 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 yap. They start here in Micronesia and Guam. They have two provinces at the beginning, uh, several islands, but just two provinces. They have uh, despotic monarchy, they're independent, and their king is called No Ruler. Yep. Uh, they have no techs, they're not getting any points at all. So that's fantastic. The Yappian ideas. They have naval attrition is less, trade range is greater, and they have a longer colonial range. Uh, they get more colonial range as their first idea, cheaper ships, uh, better combat ability and naval tradition, better trade, a colonist, Less attrition, more morale, and more force limits. So everything is Navy, 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 Navy. Nothing for the Army. Sounds fun. <laughs> Let's go Yap! This is a 1310 historical start in this mod. And if you pick up this mod, there are two basic starting positions. There's 1310, which is historical, and there's 1309, which is fictional. It's kind of what if. So uh, make sure you choose the right scenario. Oh wow, we can't actually see Asia. Huh. We can see New Guinea. And we can see uh, out into the Pacific. But we can't see Asia. Oh, we can go to Hawaii. Let's go to Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh wow, there's a lot of natives there. Oof. Natural Harbor. Okay, our capital is apparently in Guam. I thought it would be Micronesia. I was wrong. All right, we have uh, two free diplomats and two free merchants. No one's doing anything. We have, let's see, where's our trade node? Trade node is Japan. But we can't actually see that trade node, so we can't send our merchants there. Well, that's useless. And the other trade node is Australia, which we also can't see. Or if we can see it, we simply can't reach it with our merchants. So our merchants are going to be useless. That's, that's probably an oversight on the uh, mod developers, but that's okay. You know, we'll split off the trade ships anyway, and uh, they can go patrol the capital trade node. I don't know how they're going to do that, since they can't see the capital trade node of Nippon, but whatever. We have three soldiers. Go us. Ah, we do have a king. King Limbang Parang Saktirai. All right, he's a 303 with no baby. Uh, 21 years old, same dynasty as Brunei and Kedah. Interesting. So we could inherit Brunei just magically. Let's see, we have a mission to fortify Guam. Get some extra manpower and army tradition. That's probably a good idea. Prove our prestige, got a free stability bump. Well, once we start colonizing, we can definitely improve our prestige. Or once we start exploring, anyway. Can we build an explorer? No, we cannot build an explorer. So we actually have to go get quests for the new world before we can explore anything. Huh, okay, well I don't know how to do that in this mod. I guess I'll have to learn, huh? Oh, there we go, exploration right there. All right, we'll have to do that real soon then. So tech one, we can start exploring, okay. This is version 1.1.1c of this mod. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> if it's different than the version that you're playing, that's that's probably understandable. Okay, turn that off, don't need to know about that. Let's see. Unite the Maori people. We have to own Iorangi, Timaru, Waira, uh, Tarangi, and Wangare. Those are all down in uh, New Zealand. Okay, well, we'll go there eventually. Da -da -da. Hanseatic League members don't really care. Okay. And we don't have any capacity values yet. That'll be calculated at the end of the year. Ah, free advisor. Let's see. We're making one duck in a month, but that could change. Let's get an advisor for uh, for diplomatic, because our king has zero in diplomacy. Let's get a little bonus there. I would like to start along the exploration idea tree if we can, so we can start exploring. There's all this stuff we can't see. Okay. We have... Three trade ships, two transports, three soldiers. What's our force limit? Five. All right. Let's uh, build another soldier, eh? Pacific Islander. There you go. 
Long Spearman. You got it, baby. Let's build two guys down there. And our ship limit was nine. So we can build some more transports. That's probably what we'll wind up doing. Uh, we don't start with a colonist, but we'll get one eventually. Can't use our merchants. Can't use our diplomats because there's nobody else in the world. We don't know about any other nations. Wow, this is going to be a very strange start because we don't know that it, we, nobody exists. We don't know about anything. We're clueless. All right, well, let's put the speed all the way up and pass some time, shall we? Welcome to Yap. <laughs> Stability restored. After years of instability, we have managed to restore control in the realm. Okay. Welcome to Veritas Death Force 2 2. Yes. And we have an air. Wow, he's really good. 355. I like that. 355. That's a pretty good air. Enable tutorial screen. Nah, it's okay. So, Fortify Guam. We'll probably wind up doing that. But we're also going to have to wait. Because it's expensive. It's 50 ducats. Yeah, we'll just wait. Oh, wow. So if I hover over the missions button, or flag, banner, whatever you want to call these things, it says there's a mission called Fortify Micronesia. But if I go to the missions, there is no mission for Fortify Micronesia. This thing's lying to me. That. Interesting. Anyway, let's go. Stay the world. Oh. The world of Veritas at Fortitudo is similar to that of the actual timeline, but some things are quite different. The great powers are of actual history are not necessarily the great powers of alternate timelines. Show me a list of tutorial topics. No, that's fine. Oh yeah, I didn't turn on or off any... I didn't turn on or off any of the options in the game. I should probably take a look at them. Game options. Oh, I was not going to show me, is it? I have it on monthly save right now because uh, I've had some crashing problems with this mod. But... Yeah, yeah I, I get it. Didn't I say turn off tutorial? Pretty sure I said turn off tutorial. Yeah, it's turned off. Maybe if I turn it on, I'll turn it on and then I'll turn it off once it pops up. That's the idea. Okay, I'm finished. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so how much does it cost to start uh, getting some ideas flowing? We got to tech up first, right? We got to first get the first uh, level of administrative tech. So ideas in this mod are very different than uh, normal EU4. Let me see if I can pull up a list for you guys. Let's see. No, not there. Here. Let's see. Uh, ideas. Bum, 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 bum. Here we go. All right. So in this mod, no, I guess you don't need to see all of that. Uh, ideas follow a very weird structure. It's it's all organized in a certain way where you have to get certain ideas before you can unlock other ideas, which is kind of cool, right? It's sort of like the the tech tree on Civ Five. Yeah, let him stay home. That's fine. But it means that you can't. You can't do offensive or defensive right away. You have to go to army ideas first. So it's it's kind of a... Uh, it, it takes getting used to. And I'm certainly not used to it yet. So this is going to be a learning, learning game for me. And for you guys too, I'm sure. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that have way more experience than I do in this mod. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go straight for Admin Tech 1. Which is going to cost us 825... PowerPoints. Okay. So we are in the Polynesian tech group, which apparently costs 150% of normal. Uh, if normal is European, then they're paying 100%. They're paying 600 points per tech. We're paying 50% more than that. Poor us, right? Poor us. Now, if we could go neighbor one of those Western nations, like maybe in the New World, we could neighbor, you know, England or Spain or something. If we neighbor one of them, then we'll get a nice... Uh, uh, bonus to our teching rate. I think it's 25% cheaper. But that's a long way down the road. So for now, not much we can do. Take a look at our neighboring islands over here. What are this? The Marshall Islands. Got any good base tax over here? Base tax 2. And you have unknown stuff. Well, what do we have at our islands? 
timber. Okay. And what else? Fish. All right, timber and fish. It's fine. Got base one. Base two. Base one. Base three. Base one. I'm trying to find something, you know, decent, like a base four or a base five would be great. Base one. Can't click it. Oh, we don't know that island yet. Okay. Have to go discover that one. Base one. Base one. Base one. Now, they're all pretty worthless. The best one is Hawaii with base three, but that's a long way off. Probably can't reach it. See, I think uh, I think what we'll wind up doing is we'll do a cut here, and then we'll come back when we actually can tech up. Because I don't think that anything's going to happen until we can tech up. So I'll see you guys when we actually tech up. Huh. All right, we are back because it's almost time to tech up. It's taken uh, 10 years to get this point. Wow. Well, we're getting there. 825 points to tech level one. And then we'll be able to take the exploration idea group so we can start colonizing. There we go. Bingo. Nice. All right. So let's start colonizing. What is our range? Uh, our range is nowhere. <laughs> we can't even colonize right next door. Palau is 122 away. Our range is 112. Huh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, how far away are these other islands? These are going to be farther away, right? 149. A little bit farther, yeah. And down here? Uh, 124. So we're pretty close to some of these, but not close enough to any of them to actually colonize. All right. But uh, the first Yappian idea will be... Uh, well, it, it takes a lot. It takes 14 ideas uh, to get one whole idea. But the first Yappian idea will give us a lot of range. But I think it's going to be this one right here. Overseas exploration. So we're going to have to wait for uh, another 625 Diplo points so that we can get this to give us then enough range to start colonizing. All right, so we'll just pause. Uh, you haven't really missed anything. We had uh, our leader embarrasses the court, which means we lost 15 legitimacy and 15 prestige. But other than that, nothing has happened. So we'll be back when we can actually colonize. Or actually, you know what's going to be first is we're going to have Quest for New World pretty soon, right? Uh, 217 points from now, we can take Quest for New World and we can send a, an explorer around and he can go derp, derp, derp. But anyways, we'll see if we can, we can actually do something. <laughs> Okay, so welcome back. Um, we're just waiting for Monarch points to come in. We're waiting for 800 Diplo so that we can get the uh, overseas exploration to give us 50% more range so we can actually start colonizing. Uh, it'll also allow us to start exploring as well. So we're waiting for those points to roll in and just randomly we happen into a personal union with a nation that we haven't met. In fact, we haven't met any nations on the entire planet. Uh, Nobody knows who we are, we have no enemies and no rivals, but apparently we lead a personal union over someone. So that's nice. Uh, can we influence them? Yeah. Okay, so let's influence them. That's interesting. I wonder how this is going to affect this, this game here. We can't even see them. Like, they're over here somewhere, right? I don't know where that is. I don't know Kedah. I've never heard of their, this nation before. Uh, but it's somewhere over here. Okay. Uh, and we'll have to keep them happy, I guess. Yeah, they're they're Sunni, so they're not even our religion. Meh. 
Oh well, uh, let's uh, well, let's continue on for a year or so and see if anything happens. Can we see their lands, maybe? I would like to see something. <laughs> I guess that's the first place we'll go explore, is to go find our, our vassal over there. Increase max governable provinces. Sure, why not? Prove our prestige. Prove legitimacy. Uh, I mean, they're all good, but we'll get there eventually. We still have the same king. It's been 18 years. We still have the same king. And his heir, oh man, his heir is so good. I think what we'll do is we'll turn our king into a general. I kind of want him to die. And hopefully that'll allow him to die more quickly. Because our heir is just so good. I mean, 303 versus 355? Yeah, give me that shit, man. Still the same dynasty as Brunei, so we could happen into a union over them, too, just magically. I don't, we, don't, we don't know any nations in the entire world, and we somehow got a union over someone. I mean, that, that makes no sense at all, but there it is. And they're improving relations with us, too. Why not? They have Machapahit and Atse as rivals. I've never heard of them. <laughs> Oh well, we'll be back when we hit uh, 800 Zippo points so we can start colonizing. Okay, I'll see you. Alright, welcome back. We are two months away from getting a couple ideas which will allow us to start colonizing. I hope that doesn't ruin our economy. We might have to kick out our advisor. We have one advisor for uh, Diplo because our king sucks at Diplo. Alright, let's pause. Quest for New World and Overseas Exploration. Bingo! Now let's take a look at the colony, colonial map. Yay! So we can colonize Palau uh, or what is this? Uh, Robaul. But Robaul has a lot of natives who are very aggressive. So we'll go for Palau. And why don't we ferry over uh, one dude? Oh, we can also tech up. Okay. Ah, more production efficiency. Sounds good. And armories. All right. Look at that. So we can now start doing a couple manufactories, or we can actually build armories. Well, I don't want to spend the money just yet, because we might need it for uh, the colonies. They're not going to be free, right? Uh, let's see. Increase max governable provinces. You got it. Colonize Palau. Hey, that's a good mission for us. Yeah. Thank you. I will gladly take that mission. There we go. So we got colonial enthusiasm for five years. We have more chance of bonus settlers, and we get uh, yearly settler increase of 25. So that's nice. 95 a year instead of 70 a year. So how much is this costing us for this one colony? Two ducats a month. Yeah, we're definitely going to kick out our advisor. Sorry, advisor. You're too expensive to have uh, along with a colony. We're still losing money. Jesus. So hopefully as we get a couple colonies going, uh, we'll be able to afford, uh, I don't know, the basic standards of living, I guess. And yes, we will be losing our personal union if our king is to die uh, anytime soon. Because <laughs> we have negative prestige. Just events popped up. We have negative prestige happen. No big deal. And if we lose the union, so be it. Right? It's not the end of the world. In the meantime, though, this colony should be done in uh, about two years, maybe? No, not two years. Uh, ten years. Something like that.
benign neglect. Improve colonial relations by granting your colonies a certain amount of self-government. What does this do? Settler chance plus one. Oh, I like that. Our current chance is zero, so... <laughs> plus one doesn't really help. The settler chance is just a bonus opportunity to gain settlers every year. Currently the chance is 0%, but sometimes you'll see it at like, you know, 25%. That means one out of every four years you'll get bonus settlers arriving that year. Improve legitimacy, improve our prestige. Eh. We'll get to all these eventually. Improve legitimacy. All we have to do for that is have our king die, because our heir is a strong claim. So that one should be relatively easy to do. But I think... I think we'll go for the other one, actually. Oh, yep. Yeah, we lost our union. Alright, no big deal. Our king died. Lost our union. Hey, but now we have uh, a 355 king. Very nice. Uh, these guys want an alliance. Uh, I don't think we need it. I think we're just going to take our... Well, no, I guess we'll keep our diplomat there. What harm does it do? Okay, but we did lose stability because of that, unfortunately. So, I think, what? how much does it cost? 130 points, that's so expensive. No, 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 no. I think we'll go for improve our prestige, which will give us uh, free stability. We'll take that mission. And uh, we'll get our prestige up by exploring. So we're going to wait, uh, oh man, we get 8 points a month because of our king. He's so good. God. 355 king. That's perfect. That is perfect. All right, so we'll we'll explore and we'll start exploring. That'll get our stability up. All right, let's go uh let's go explore. Tunia Choka Ri Ahmad. Let's explore. I mean, the only positive thing that came out of that personal union was we uh, we got to learn about one other nation because we didn't know about anybody before that. All right, so there's the Philippines. And every province we explore, we get a little bit of prestige. I think it's two prestige per province. But yeah, this, this king is so much better. 355, my goodness. I wonder what our range is. Like, how far can we safely venture out without uh, taking attrition? Now ah, we'll find out. We should start encountering some nations over here. No, not yet. All right. But yeah, our prestige is going up pretty quick from exploring. It's great. Colony is at 185 people and growing. Aha, we discovered Majapa Heats. Hello, Majapa Heats. Get some relations up with you, shall we? Next over here will be Sunda. Oh, it looks like Majapahit may have conquered Sunda. Yeah, Sunda's gone. <laughs> 
Much of a heat conquered all of it. That's hilarious. Alright, there is Palambang. Hello, Palambang. Lose stability or pay money. I don't want to lose any stability. Sorry. National Epic. Uh, two ducats for some prestige. Okay. Well, three ducats for some prestige. That's fine. Okay, now we're taking attrition out here. Oh, now we're not. So our naval range stops right here. But yeah, look at that. 412 is our range. That's pretty good. So we can safely just wander all the way over here. I like that. Okay, we discovered Malacca. Yeah, it's 400 points for each of these. Oh, we can get another idea group. Apparently we can. Hmm. Probably want to go admin. Cheaper advisors, more, ch more to choose from. Cheaper cores, cheaper buildings, inflation, interest. National tax and production. Yeah, I probably want to go admin. But I'll keep it open for now. It's not like we need to use it right away. Thirty-four prestige. Once we get to fifty, we'll get a free stability. That's nice. Still haven't found Bonten. Oh, he's in Parak. Okay, so he's right there. That's the nation that we had a personal union over, these guys. The green ones. But they're gone now. Or the union's gone anyway. It didn't last very long. Okay, Palau has fish. That's okay. So our colony is not going to be super duper profitable, but oh well, it's better than nothing. Thirty nine prestige. We're almost there, baby. Let's see if we can find the coast of Australia. It's down here somewhere. I didn't find it. Come on. Find me some Australians or something. Oh, there we go. We discovered Western Aust or Central Australia wasteland. All right. That is a huge wasteland province. Oh, 
Oh, we're getting to see a little bit. Oh no, our air falls ill. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is bad. No, 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 no. Pause. Our heir is a 4-3-3. I would like him to live. He's pretty good. Let's see. Spend five ducats and have a 50% chance that he lives. Or uh, don't spend any money. And he'll die. But if, if we don't spend the money, we'll lose prestige and legitimacy. So we'll spend the money. Good luck. He died. Ah, oh, fuck. He was good. 4-3-3. Aw, oh, man. Oh, well. There we go. Gubby Gubby. Boonjalung. We'll get all this shit eventually, right? Maybe? That depends. I don't know if we're going to... I don't know if we're going to have any competition. Oh. 50 ducats or lose half of our colonists? I can't spend 50 ducats. <sighs> I can't spend 50 ducats. It looks like we're losing half of our colonists because I can't afford that. Wow. There goes 192 colonists. Yay, we got 50 prestige, which gave us a free stability. Next mission. Uh, I guess we could prove legitimacy, but we have no air. Nah, we won't take a mission yet. Oh, we're taking attrition down here. Alright, come on back. Let's go find New Zealand. Oh, shit. 4% attrition? Oh, it's a sea tile. There's no land. Ah. Well, there will be land down in New Zealand. There we go. No more attrition. Good. Hello, New Zealand. How are you today? Sea of Antarctica. <laughs> yeah, we are taking attrition in the Sea of Antarctica. I'm not surprised. Oh, hello. Hello, Ngaruru. How are you today? He hates Muskegee. How can you possibly hate Muskegee? <laughs> That's in North America, you idiot. How can he hate Muskegee? That makes no sense. Ah, uh, goodness. And you hate Iroquois. How can you hate the Iroquois? I don't get it. Well, whatever the case, uh, let's head up this away. We'll go dock up real quick. We'll come down here, explore that. Explore back over this way again. See if we can't find some more territory. Come up here to uh, Taiwan and then China. And we'll go explore Japan a bit. Yeah. These guys are tech zero. I think they're going to be easy conquest. But that's just my thinking. Ooh, look at that. Seven base tax. Ooh, I want that. Oh, 
Oh, Keda, our former personal union guy. He has rivaled us for some reason. Okay. Let me set these guys as rivals. I don't think they know who we are. No, they're ne they do. They're neutral towards us. All right. Hmm. Yeah, we have Tech 2 military, so we can easily go stomp those guys. We have... Well, maybe not. I mean, our Pacific Islander units are probably pretty garbage. Yeah, Tech Level 6 will get Foot Soldiers. That's probably the, the time when we should use them. We get no cav ever. We get cannons at 14. Wow, so the Pacific Islanders get no cavalry ever. That's... That's pretty amazing, actually. All right, let's. Uh, ba -ba -ba. We got relations up with Majapa Heat. That's great. They're tech two as well. Palam. Let's get relations up with Palambang and Malacca. Oh, they're all vassals of Majapahit. Really? Wow. Yeah, Majapahit has all these guys as vassals. That's amazing. Wow. That's pretty scary, actually. Ah, oh, we discovered Taiwan. Good, good, good. Base 4 tax, not bad. And we discovered Yuan. Hello, Yuan. Let's go find Japan, shall we? Hello? Oh, we didn't discover Okinawa. Damn it. Come back and find Okinawa. It looks like we found it, but we didn't actually find it. Shoot. Alright, more Yuan. Oh, he, he annexed his vassal. Uh, Yuan starts the game with Korea as a vassal, but it looks like he annexed Korea. Yep. There we go. Hello, Ryuku. How are you guys? You guys hate Tibet. You know what? I'm going to set Ryuku as a rival because he's small, insignificant, and there you go. And that's on the Nippon trade node, just like our capital. So if we go conquer him, that'd be nice. And he has China where, doesn't he? Oops. No, he has livestock. My bad. I thought he had China where. Oh, well. Let's go explore around Japan. Oh. Oh, Kyoto discovered. King, where does this reach us from the Far East? An explorer from our nation has visited the capital, Japan. Okay. Well, that is where my explorer is, so okay. Yeah, Kyoto's right there. Or, I'm sorry, Kyoto's over there. <laughs> Tokyo's over there. Alright, so we discovered Japan. Go us. So we could take another idea, which would be more settlers. Uh, not sure if we really need to hurry down this road, because another settler won't help us. We simply can't afford another colony. However, what will tech get us? Tech will get us naval morale. Hmm. Well, the colonial range will probably be useful. But I think the global settler... Well, do I really need the global settlers? Plus 10. Yeah, might as well. 
And then after that, we'll go for the extra range. get tons of prestige for all these exploration right but we're losing 8.5 prestige per year wow that is a lot of prestige loss per year has anyone rivaled us other than Keta? nope just Keta. We still don't even know who Keta is. <laughs> we had them as our personal union bitch, but we never knew who they were. <laughs> it's so weird. We should get uh, a conquistador and go marching across Asia. If we can get access through Yuan, in fact, yeah, come back from Malacca real quick. Uh, we'll get ac we'll, we'll get relations up with Japan at Yuan. Oh shit, we're taking attrition up here. Oops. We'll get relations up with uh, Yuan and Japan. We can start exploring over that way. We could always colonize Siberia. It's a long way from, from home, but it's worth doing. There's a lot of metals up there. to Japan and talk to Yuan. Bingo. Uh, we'll lose the prestige because we got lots of that shit. Now this is all open sea so we'll explore a little bit and then we'll go home and dock up real quick. And then we'll go explore out towards Hawaii and the New World. 6%, 7%, ouch. <laughs> yeah, deep sea is always where you take the most attrition. That's pretty bad. Eight percent, oof. Oh yeah, can we use our merchant yet? Yes, we can, we can collect a Nippon. All right, let's do that. That'll help a little bit. Uh, our trade will go from 1.4 ducats to what? It didn't even change. Oh, 1.6. Okay, so we got 0 0.2 extra ducats. That's not bad. Oh my god, 10% attrition. There we go. Alright, get out of there. There you go. Okay, now we're back to safe waters. We can heal up. Can we reach anywhere else with our merchants? I don't think so. We can't reach Australia. We can't reach Malacca. No, we can't get anywhere else. Damn it. Oh well. Not the end of the world. But we're on the Nippon node. Which is fine. There's a lot of other stuff on the Nippon node. This is Australia node, Australia node. So Australia is everything except our capital. Yeah. Even Palau is on Australia. So everything except our capital is going to be on the Australia node. That's too bad. Because the Australia node is kind of garbage. It's a starter node. All the trade in Australia either 
leaves or stays. There is no incoming trade. Starter nodes are terrible. Anyway, uh, why don't we call that a successful first episode? We did okay here as Yap. We got a union that we didn't keep. Uh, but our prestige is doing fine now. We've done some exploration, and we're colonizing. So, uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time for further adventures in the land of Yap, where we're going to head out. Oh, look, someone arrived. We're going to head out and uh, maybe conquer New Zealand. Yeah. I'm sure they would enjoy that with some Yap overlords. <laughs> yeah, they have no idea who we are. Nobody's rivaling us. Oh, well. We'll find out what to do next time. Bye-bye.